The gender of the main character is never specifically referred to. Only one line alludes to the character's gender by way of speaking to the collective nature of madmen. You fancy me mad. Madmen know nothing, but you should have seen me. During the introduction, the narrator of the Telltale Heart comes to believe he has to kill a rich old man whom the narrator says he loved. He offers no reason, but mentions the man has one blue eye that is very disturbing. During the rising action, he says he's sane because of his planning, sneaking into the old man's room for seven nights. He cannot kill the old man, however, because it isn't the man he wants to kill, but his eye. Each morning, after having snuck in the night before, the narrator greets the old man cheerfully. On the eighth night, the old man sits up and asks, who's there? But the narrator doesn't answer. Eventually, the narrator hears the old man give a terrified moan and decides to risk opening his lantern a crack. When he does, the light shines directly on the old man's blue eye, showing it and nothing else. At that point, the narrator starts hearing the old man's heart beating and he feels braver, but then it becomes so loud, he fears the neighbors could hear it. During the climax, he opens the lantern and surges into the room. The old man screams, but the narrator moves the bed on top of him. Eventually, his heart stops beating. The narrator is sure the eye won't bother him anymore. The narrator describes his cover-up as proof of his sanity. He cuts the old man into pieces and hides him below the floor, leaving no trace of evidence. Not long after he finishes, at 4 a.m., there is a knock at the door. It is three police officers who are responding to the neighbor's complaint of a scream. In the falling action, the officers come in and they sit above the floor where the old man's body is hidden. During the resolution, the narrator realizes he is hearing the old man's heart beating again. It gets louder and louder, but the policemen don't seem to hear it. The narrator eventually snaps and screams out his guilt. Gothic literature often uses a complicated narrative structure. Stories can be told through found manuscripts, incomplete manuscripts, overheard stories, and so forth. The unnamed narrator of the Telltale Heart fits well in this tradition. It's likely he's in jail for murder and talking to someone from within his cell, but we don't know. In fact, it's possible the narrator is talking to themselves because they seem pretty insane. Almost nothing is revealed about the narrator or the old man, except the narrator's likely insanity. Setting aside the narrator's mental state, evidence of supernatural forces exists. The story has a drifting, dreamlike or nightmare-like quality, which is heightened by the fact that no one in the story is given a name, but rather a generic type. It is also possible the whole thing was just a dream. Ultimately, Poe makes it impossible to determine any of these interpretations as definitive. This could be the point of the story and what makes it so eerie.